5G lab right now where we're looking at some equipment we're, we're, we're uh, testing out right now for 5G testing of devices. This is what we call a uh, compact antenna test range chamber from Keysight, which has a uh, test antenna that will uh, uh, provide signals from the network, uh, bounce off a parabolic reflector to an area right here of the positioner that the device would actually be placed in for testing. Right now we have a horn antenna because we're setting up for a calibration of the system. This position right now, right now can move in azimuth or elevation so we can modify the angle of the device and the arrival of the signal. This allows us basically to test the device, test the signal level, test the signal crispness, uh, test the functionality of the devices for 5G. When we say 5G, the G means generational. And you know, 4G networks were, you know, an amazing improvement over 3G networks right. and the same over 2G. 5G will, you know, holds the promise to be that and more. And let me give you a flavor for what the big enhancements are uh, for 5G. Massive bandwidth, which will deliver very, very fast speeds. So speeds in the gigabit range. I also think of it in terms of latency. Latency is the responsiveness of your network. So to take latency into sort of the single digit millisecond range, which is a tenfold at, at, at best improvement over what current 4G networks do. Scalability. What 5G can hold for us is connecting billions of things and having that agility and scalability within the architecture to not just be, you know, one thing here or there, but really billions of devices connecting to a 5G network. We actually have 5G nodes on air right now across the country uh, in 11 locations and we are testing. 